Hi, and welcome to my channel. This is KB, Worth Saving 101, and I'm KB, Kim Baker. If this is your first time visiting my channel, then welcome. Um, I'm a lifetime thrifter, and I'm a reseller on the Poshmark app. I also am sending boxes into ThreadUp um, and investigating the real to real. So if you are interested in reseller content and haul videos, then do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button down below because it does really help me out. Um, this happens to be Thrift Haul Thursday. So every Thursday I go to my, my Goodwill because they have one tag that's a dollar. So everything in my haul today happens to be purchased for one dollar each. I have my haul divided up into what I'm going to be listing in my Poshmark closet and what I'm going to be sending into thread up. So I'll give you a little bit of a scoop as to how much I'll be listing it for and how much thread up uh, values it for. Um, I always save my best items for last, so make sure you stay tuned to the end. And let's dive in. Uh, this is a smaller haul. Um, it's the same old thrift store I've been going to. I don't know. This week just didn't have a ton of stuff. So, and that's fine with me. More for thread up and a little bit less for my closet, which is right on. Um, let's see. I'm going to start with this guy. I love the print. I love the print. I'm sorry. I love this abstract. Um, I'll have to look up the name. I know this particular style of uh, neckline does have a name. I'm sorry. I'm blanking on it. Little cap sleeve. It has center ruching and has this wonderful, beautiful flow down at the bottom. Um, same through the back with that center ruching. Um, it is an extra large and it's that, and I'm going to slaughter that. What is that? Alfini? I'm terrible. I always slaughter their names. Anyway, there's the tag. <laughs> um, I'll probably be listing this for about 29 in my closet. All right, this happens to be Access. It is a Liz Claiborne company. And it is, what size are you? An extra large. So again, this will probably be listed for about 29, but it's a little cap sleeved V-neck. It's got the sheer, and then you can see, oh, I love that print. Nice funky print in those browns. So yes, about $29 in my plush closet. Let's see. Christopher and Banks, size large. Now, if you notice that for my Poshmark closet, I don't really pick up a bunch of super fancy brands. I pick up what I am attracted to. And um, you know, the weirder the item, the faster they sell for me. Don't ask me. Um, so oh, I'm staying true to myself. Um, this happens to be a long sleeve, and this is sheer through here. And then it does have this like little bit of gathering right down at the bottom for the sleeve but it has this center ruffle and the v-neck detailing and I love the colors the purples and the browns and that funky print so again that'll probably be listed for about 29 all right New York and Company now I really do like New York and Company um this one happens to be a stretch and what size are you size medium it's this little a-line full skirt but it has this gorgeous detailing on the bottom so all this is embroidered detailing on the bottom, and I love that. I love that color scheme. Um, I have a lot of that color scheme in my closet, so I thought that would do very well. That will probably be listed 33, around there, around 33. All right, this one happens to be, again, a New York and Company. It's a size 6, and it reminds me of a poodle skirt. So that will be one of my descriptive words in there. Um, and it has, again, this gorgeous detailed embroidery down on this one side. So, um, and I'll probably list this one for about 39 in my closet. All right. Let's see. Kathy. Oh, I can't remember. Let's see. What's her name? Kathy Von Zeeland. Kathy Von Zeeland. I can say that one. <laughs> um, and this is really super cute bag is in great shape it's like brand new shape so um i picked it up thread up would only value this at about 60 which not would not give me a lot of money so um i picked it up for my poshmark closet um i'll be listing it probably for about 45 in my poshmark closet um this is this really cute just shoulder bag um with this buckle detailing and all these studs and this material you know what it reminds me of it reminds me like um you know the the mesh the knights used to wear the metal mesh that's what this material reminds me of that it's made out of and it's an excellent shape so yes 45 in my closet 
All right, this piece I got up for um, experimental purposes. Uh, you know, it's a book, you can do whatever you want with it. Let's see. <clears throat> so this happens to be in need of repair, so I'm going to um, see how my repairing skills will do for that. But actually, I have some pen mark on the outside and I wanted to experiment to see if I could find something to remove it. Um, and then I also have a leather dyeing kit. So I just need some acetone to remove the protective surface. And then I will go through and um, change the color to a, maybe a darker color so that you can't see it or um, blend it or whatever. I don't know, we'll, we'll see how it turns out. And if it does work, then I'll list it in my Poshmark closet. If not, then I don't know, camping bag, I, who knows? Camera bag, there you go. Um, all right. Now, I always have whoopsies, and you guys, I am filming my journey, so you can learn from me. <laughs> I'm good at laughing at myself. Always have to have a good time. So um, I do have two whoopsies this week. Um, when I go into the store, I use the ThreadUp app for my pricing because I want most of my items to actually be sent into ThreadUp and less for me to list in my Poshmark closet. That's what I'm doing these days. Um, and um, the app, I can only see about this much of what I'm looking up. So um, this one I did a boo-boo on. Um, this happens to be RBX, yes. And it's a size large, it's a workout shirt. It's a sleeveless workout shirt. It's a sleeveless workout tunic, I should say. Um, it has a nice little um, V netting back here for ventilation and um, also backslit. Um, now, I thought they were listed, they were valued higher on ThreadUp. But when I re-looked it up, it's only valued at 48. And I, all my items need to be higher, $60 or higher for me to send them into ThreadUp. Otherwise, it's not worth me, I think, to send them in. So I'm going to be listing this in my Poshmark closet for about 20 bucks. Onward. Okay. I was super excited with this one because I know that they usually value um, express jeans at like 80. And uh, you know, after five hours, I must've been a little loopy because <laughs> here we go. Here's my next whoops. Um, I got, not only are they express, but they're express blues. So I'll be singing those all the way to Poshmark. <laughs> I'll be listing them in my Poshmark closet for 39, but they are this mom style. So they're high-waisted. They are a boot cut. They are a seven, eight, did they say long? Seven, eight L, so I'm thinking long. Seven, eight long boot cut mama jeans. Um, so, you know, um, but $39 in my Poshmark closet, I'm fine with that. I just don't like listing pants. Um, okay. So now this item, I would love to send into thread up. They would value it at 148. Um, and me being able to mark that up to 80% of that, that's a good, that's a good chunk of change to get commission off of. Um, this happens to be a reversible vest. Um, so this outside, uh, this side, um, and it zips. I'll pull you down, maybe. Sorry, you're seeing more of that than you are as me. Um, and um, you can see it's soft, it's gorgeous, it's neutral in color, and um, then you reverse it, and it's like a sateen. Now, when you have reversible items, make sure you check the pockets for your info. So this is one of the reasons why I can't necessarily send it in to thread up, um, because I do have my tags here, so it's a size large. My RN number tells me it's cabby. Um, so I know it'll sell for a pretty good penny, um, but because it doesn't actually state cabby, I'm not sure if I can list it in my Poshmark or in, uh, send it into ThreadUp. So, but isn't that adorable? It has a site and it has the zipper pockets. So yes, um, I haven't done the research on it. I definitely would probably go through um, a minimum of 49 starting in my Poshmark closet if I list it there. So, but if, hey, if anybody sent in things that didn't have the brand tag, then let me know. I know the size tag is like huge. So anyway, on to my next question mark. Um, I love this piece and it is, who are you? Essentials by ABS. All right. Um, Essentials by ABS. And it is this, I would call this a um, toga. Toga style dress. 
Um, it's got the side ruching, this wrap look to it in this gorgeous blue. Um, and so um, if it was a considered a cocktail dress, it'd be worth 89 in value. And if it's a casual dress, it's 71. So that's kind of on the low end for me, but um, I think I'm going to send it in and, and give it a shot and see what happens. So wish me luck. I hope it goes as a cocktail dress. All right. I'm going to slaughter the name on this one, guys. I really am. Um, Cartonair. Carton I don't know. I'm sorry. Here you go. C-A-R-T-O-N-N-I-E-R. -N -N -E and it's a size six. They are these really cute shorts. They actually have a pair already listed on Thread Up in a smaller size. Um, and I just love that the longer shorts are supposed to be in for this year so hopefully they'll check my box in before the summer's over <laughs> when i send them in so it's taking a little bit of time right now um but they value those at 71 so i'm definitely going to send them in all right this one happens to be an ann taylor loft and it's a size small and it's in this adorable print i don't know if it was ever worn because the pockets are actually it has pockets but they're still sewn shut there are no tags on it though. So um, there is this tiny little bit right here that I will go through and clean up with scissors. Can you see that? Let's see if I can get it the right way. It's just this little ball of fuzz. So I'll clean that up and see if it looks okay. Otherwise I'll have to list it in my Poshmark closet, which I'm fine, the print's cute. Um, she just usually sits for quite a while on Poshmark and maybe doesn't even sell. I've only sold um, an Ann Taylor dress. So it was a loft dress, but uh, I don't know. Hopefully they sell faster on thread up. So anyway, all right, this is cabby, old cabby, old cabby tag. Yellow was a big color last year. Hopefully somebody's still looking for it, but this is a bright and happy, not necessarily that mustard. Um, it is this spaghetti strap draped scoop neck top. They value cabbies tops at like $80. So, hmm, I'm sending it there. It is really super soft. Yellow is not my color though. Um, let's see. This again is cabby. This is a size large. It is the older tag again. Um, this one, again, a sleeveless blouse. <laughs> Hopefully that's what they're calling it. Um, with uh, side ruching. So you have all this um, side ruching in through here. A little ruffled detail up in that front area. But again, they value it at $80. Uh, now this piece, guys, I might end up keeping it for my closet. It's so pretty. Okay. It is, um, it is... Denim and Supply by Ralph Lauren. It is a size large. So if you have an opinion, you can always leave it down below because, yeah, this one is just, I think it's beautiful. And what do they value it at? $89 for theirs. And I would call this like a Victorian floral print. And even the style with that um, collar up front there and those little buttons, um, it has just a little bit of that like wavy, hemline okay but it is this beautiful sheer lace and i just ugh, it looks like such a classic vintage piece i just love it so yes they value it at 89 so i was thinking of sending it in but the more i look at it the more i think it belongs with me in my closet <laughs> <laughs> Let me know what you think. All right. Um, so let's see. This is Banana Republic. Uh, it is a size eight in its stretch. Now I have learned that Banana Republic doesn't sell very well for me on Poshmark, um, but thread up values it very high. So I can find a lot of it around me. This happens to be what they would value it as 148 um, and it's black, it has the sateen. Um, and so, yes, this is being sent directly in to right up <clears throat> now this is banana republic Woo! i'm losing everything um banana republic but it's factory and normally i wouldn't pick up factory to send in there um just because it's not necessarily lower value it's usually not valued as high but um this happens to be a blazer and they do value blazers quite high um and it's this it's size four size four um this cream with this um gold thread 
going through it, like, like a herringbone kind of print to it um, with the gold buttons, just this little blazer. So yes, um, they value um, the factory blazers at 110. So I'm going to um, send that in and hope somebody snags it up. All right. Now this is a brand I've never picked up before. All right, it did have Ross tags on it. I removed those. Remember, guys, if you get them on sale and they're new with tags, make sure you remove anything that is not um, what you want to be sent in. This happens to be Melissa McCartney 771X. Okay. In these uh, lounge pants, I call them like lounge pants. Um, wide leg lounge pants with a straight leg, actually, not wide leg, um, in this funky print. Um, they value her pretty high um, at like 95, but I have actually a new with tags and it says 98. Remember, I just removed the other tag um, and I only got them for a dollar. So those are going into thread up. Great size, by the way. 1X. Woohoo. All right. Now, I don't know which one's my better one. I think the dress is, so I'll save that for my last piece. Um, this happens to be Newport News. It is a leather jacket. It's a size 10. Um, and they value this one only about $161. So, uh, but leather jackets, all my leather jackets, I'm sending in there because, yes, leather gets valued higher and um, hopefully more eyes on it sells faster. So, and we're in some very weird, strange times right now. So, um, yeah, uh, it's adorable. I mean, I keep it, but it's a little too tight in my shoulders. I wouldn't be able to drive. Uh, <laughs> anyway, like I said, they value this at like what? $161. So, into thread up it goes. My last item. So, thank you for hanging in there with me. It happens to be... Da, da, da. This is a Suzy Chin size eight, and it is a cocktail dress. Um, I actually just sent in a Suzy Chin by Maggie somebody for Maggie somebody. A Suzy Chin for Maggie somebody. I can't remember. I'm so sorry, but um, it had a print on it. It was the exact same cut and style of this dress. So um, anyway. Uh, I'm going to send this in because they value this at $149. So I'm hoping that yes, they accept this and it sells. So um, I appreciate you following me along with my journey and staying all the way to the end. So until next time.